everybody, I'm Tara with PDQ, and today we're going to use uh, auto reports from PDQ Inventory in conjunction with Power Automate so we can do things easy and we don't get in trouble. Yeah? Okay, let's do it. So first I'm going to tell you the little use case that I came up with in my mind. So you're going to get audited or the security person's going to come scream at you and say, why haven't you been patching those machines? We're not going to get a good score. Ah. So I want to prove that I have been patching my machines and I need to send a report to my boss or to some higher up who's going to yell at me. So let's go in to inventory and do an auto report. Okay. So that's step one. So let's get in there. So auto reports, let's go. We're going to make a new one. We're going to call this one. So Tara doesn't get fired. Oh, good. Well, I just kicked out of there. Let's try that one more time. I already messed that one up. That's okay. We'll do it again. New auto report. We'll just go Tara screwed up. That's better. Okay. Now, so, you know, we can do a UNC path. So I'm not actually going to do this, but I'm just going to talk through it. So if I wanted to, I can specify a location. So in this little demo, we're actually going to pick a desktop and I'm going to tell you why in a second. So we're just going to pick the desktop of this machine that I'm on. Okay. And then the file name, we're going to make it dynamic, uh, report and name just for now. Cause we're going to, our little theory, our little story is we're going to do it once a week or once a month. However, our patching is scheduled so we can prove that we've done it. Okay. Then we're going to set our triggers. So let's just say we want to do it every Wednesday, twice a month. Okay. So we go through and we set this up. Now, the second option would be we're going to mail it to ourselves, okay? Or uh, for this demonstration, we're going to mail it to a shared mailbox or a team mailbox, okay? So in here, we would make sure that we have our SMT really SMTP relay set up so we know who we're sending it to. And I would probably do a team mailbox or a channel mailbox. Put this all in here, okay? So we have this part set up. Now, we're going to hop over to Power Automate, okay? Because even though I have it going to the desktop or I have it sending to an email, that's not good enough. I want to take it to the next level. So the next level is going to be over here in Power Automate, okay? So I have all these flows set up, but I'm going to show you a couple of the different options. So the first option, and I already have one made, so I'm going to jump into here. The first option is save 365 email attachments to OneDrive for business. So that first option that I showed you, or the section option, second option rather, is I saved that auto report as a CSV. And we're gonna pretend like I showed you that step where you attach a CSV. I'm gonna this flow pulls the attachments from my email up into OneDrive. So let's dig into this. So I'm just gonna hit edit this flow and I'm gonna show you. I'll show you the steps that it goes through. So when it gets a new email that comes in my inbox and I can specify whatever folder I want to from this mailbox. So if I want to put, if I want to make an, an audit label, I can say so anything that comes into audit, you're going to do this. You're going to perform this action. So apply to each attachment, any attachment is going to grab it and it's going to pull it and put it into whatever folder path I specify within this one drive. Okay. So I would make a OneDrive in wherever I specify for audit in this use case, okay? So that would be a great option. I never have to think about it. Auto Reports is gonna pull the information, the CSV in this scenario. It's gonna come into my email. Power Automate is gonna be watching that email. Whatever folder I designated to be watching is gonna pull that attachment that has the CSV in it, and it's gonna take it up to SharePoint. I never need to think about it ever again. Or OneDrive, pardon me, OneDrive in this scenario. So. Easy peasy, right? So that's one option. Now let's come back. Let's go back to flows again. I think I have another one built, but if not, we'll go find another one. Nope, I don't have one. So I already said it. You guessed it. We're gonna we're gonna search for SharePoint. So if I come to Power Automate and we look for SharePoint, here is all my options. I have a ton. So all you need to do is type in what you're looking for. So actually, I don't want to start with SharePoint, though. I want to start with file options because remember how we saved it to the desktop? So if I do file options, that's going to give me my options to move things from 
a desktop location. So the UNC path would represent a desktop location. So let's scroll down and just see what our options are. I'm going to hit more templates because I'm not seeing what I want just yet. So what I'm looking for is the green icon. Mm, I like this one. Okay. Copy a file to SharePoint when a file is added to a file system. That seems like what we want. Let's click it and see. Okay. When a file is added to a file system, create a new file in SharePoint with the same file name and file content. That's what we want. So let's go in. You see, I've already connected. I've already authenticated. And let's see what it does. So this... I would point to the desktop where I saved those auto reports, remember? And it's gonna be dynamic. It's gonna do whatever trigger I set up in inventory. Then we're just gonna drill down and I can add whatever I want to this. Once it goes to that location, it pulls that file. What it's gonna do once I specify, for now we're gonna put it in webcast demo site, our SharePoint site, is going to pull that file, the CSV file from the auto reports, and it's going to put it on this SharePoint site. And these fields right here, they're dynamic, meaning anything that comes in from that UNC path, it's going to pull. I don't need to specify the name because this is a dynamic folder name, list of contents. So that's another way you can do it. And I mean, I can keep going on and on. So what I want you to do is think of ways that you could use those auto reports and Power Automate to move that data out of inventory and into Power Automate and put it kind of wherever you want. You could do Teams, you could do SharePoint. Actually, I'm gonna show you one more. Uh, let's take it outside of 365 into, um, uh, let's do Jira. So you, you wanna bring it into a project management work front. Okay, so let's find one of these. So, uh, yeah, so SharePoint and Jira. Okay, this is a good option. So think of all of the options you have to create a workflow that begins in inventory and goes kind of wherever you want it to. So I just want to give you some options of how to have these two tools work together. All right, go to it. Have fun with these two products. I think you're going to like them. I'm Tara, and... Leave me some comments. I want to hear how you did with this. If you want to know more, we'll keep doing it. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.